Cruise! Dun 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 dun! Oh no, it's difficult because look, on one hand, terrible unrest in Iraq, on the other hand, World Cup trivialised further by baby learning to walk near spherical cloth object. This, that's hard to think about that, it's complicated isn't it? Oh no, look there's been like, there's loads of murder and, 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 and conflict and conflagration in Iraq. Like that, people were saying that would happen if we destabilised Saddam Hussein and now look it is happening. I mean, I suppose what, what's your attitude towards interventionism? I think it might be down to if it loads in glass houses, shouldn't throw stones. Let's say like uh, the Dalai Lama went Right, I'm going over Iraq to sort it out. You feel better. But when Tony Blair wants to go over there, or George Bush, or any of them, look, you sort of think, well, you're not doing that well over here. What are you doing going over there? Right, this is sorted now. We're off over there to do some more stuff. This is chaos over here. Concentrate, focus. What do you mean you're dismantling the NHS? We're a bit busy now. We're going to create some future jihadists. I mean, like, that is a terrible, terrible, sad image. But look at that, even this one, like, you know, mainly that, but still a bit that. <laughs> it's mainly this is happening. Remember we went over there and we invaded that country and it was obvious we shouldn't? Well, that's happened. But on the bright side, there's a lovely little guy <laughs> in a game of cloth football. I've decided to be nice to the royal family. Not out of any kind of, uh, well, I think it's, there's a World Cup on, isn't there? So I'm sort of being a bit indoctrinated into nationalism again, swept up in that ludicrous fervour. NHS forced to reinforce beds and widen corridors to cope with obese patients. Hmm, well I suppose uh, sister, we're making people a bit too fat by selling them food that's not good for them. Hospitals are buying specialist beds, wheelchairs, commodes. People won't eat too much food because they're unhappy inside and because they've lost their connection with uh, the source of all joy. It's been filtered down. Like, look at this World Cup, the reason we're falling upon it, like ravenous dogs is because it represents symbolic ideas of unity and togetherness that are important to us as, you know, creatures that need stories to tie us together. Let's just have a quick look through the sun, the sun that was delivered. I've just come in my house, I've been away, there's one on the floor, they stuck through the door, free of charge, it's like having a nappy put through a letterbox, isn't it? It's like sort of kind of a terrorism. Did you put the sun through my door? Yeah, we did, and there's plenty more where that came from. Boffin. Tasting notes, boffin, right tunes, helps injured food more. A rousing Elgar tune can improve a Sunday roaster study claimed. Boffins at Oxford University reckon <laughs> the right music tricks our taste buds for certain dishes. Ugh. I mean, in a way, it's what's that thing, synesthesia, where there's a connection between different sensorial, sensorial input, like uh, tastes and colours and sounds have a correlation. I mean, I suppose on a some level a sound is a vibration on, and on a quantum level there would be a visible component to that if you were able to see it and you could sort of maybe you could taste electricity what's the taste of electricity what's the taste of blue but i don't think we should spend too much time thinking about it because otherwise it might give us a headache but in a way this is a comparable device here fall in love with driving again because that's the application of an anthropomorphic idea to a car you shouldn't be falling in love with a car that's mad even when night riders used to do it it's in Steady on, old boy. Let's dress your car. Kit, what should I do? Well, firstly, get some human friends, Michael, because this is too much pressure for me. I'll take you down to the garage if you want. Just chat to the bloke who works there. All right, so you get the idea. We're all swept up in a fervour of nationalism. Tiny children are being taught how to be capitalists. Lessons in how to make a profit for children aged five. Well, this little baby has been taught to be a footballer and little five-year-olds are being taught how to set up their own businesses and make profits. Don't teach them that. Don't teach them that now. Give them a few precious years before you indoctrinate them into capitalism. A generation of primary school entrepreneurs. David Cameron will support a sweeping overall of teaching in primary and secondary schools to encourage children to be more entrepreneurial. There are kids today. They're not fucking entrepreneurial enough, are they? The reforms reforms have been drawn up by Lord Young of Grafham. What's he know about anything? He's called Lord Young of Grafham. When I was growing up on the rough streets of Grafham, I realised we needed a generation of trolled entrepreneurs. Hire a royal hideaway for 50 grand. A castle that was the late Queen Mum's hideaway in the Highlands has been rented out to guests for a cost of 50 grand for a long weekend. Carefully selected visitors, oh well we're not going then, are paying to stay at Castle May. For 50 grand, a dozen people can spend a long week in the castle, which is often visited by Prince Charles. Let's go when he's there and just... Ooh. 
Charles, I need to get in the lobby. <laughs> Just give us a minute before. <laughs> no, I'm coming in now. What have you, Charles? That fucking stinks. <laughs> you shut yourself in, didn't you? You shut yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Look at this. These sort of things now. Footballers on exercise bikes. What about when that physio fell over? What a do what a dope. Celebrating, broke his own ankle. That dopey physio. The physio can't keep himself fit. Tony Blair wants to start more wars in Iraq. No one's qualified to do their jobs in this country. Anyway, that's the truth. Oh, excuse me while I kiss the sky. Nose is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Truths is like the nose. If the nose was true, I want some truths. Let's have some truths.